What's going on guys? Cruising Koozie here. I am going to do an oil change and then I'm gonna wash the car. I'll probably get, I wanna do like a little edit. I haven't done one in a long time. I also don't really have any pictures since my roof was wrapped, which was a while ago. And I've done a few mods since then, like the, the mirrors. I'll probably get some interior shots. I just need more footage, you know what I mean? I forget what these kind of bolts are called, or sockets are called, like hex sockets. I don't know, but it's a uh, three eighths. It's a little too small, but it fits the tightest out of all the ones I have. And it's a plastic bolt, which sucks, but we'll be fine. I never wear gloves when I work on cars, but I'm pretty glad that i just did because that oil was hot i it was fully to temp and i decided to change it so this right here this is technically an oil blend or a diesel oil blend i have two of them 5w40 this is a race blend 5w30 no it does not matter if you mix weights and no it does not matter if you mix brands I didn't have enough. I thought I had two of these. Well, I actually did have two of these. It's over there. That little blue thing. But I didn't know. I I thought I, I... I couldn't see it somehow when it was right in my face. So I bought this when I didn't need to. But I'm still going to use this. Because why not? OEM BMW 5W40. Castrol Edge Eurocar 5W40. Liquid Molly. Uh, Mollagen 5W40. And then... Liquid Molly, I think it's high tech something. Long time high tech, 5W30. And this, just because I didn't have any Liquid Molly oil additive. And then OEM BMW oil filter and gaskets. I got two of these for 15 bucks on Amazon. They're normally like 30 a piece. But no, it does not matter. I'm getting uh, additives that BMW recommends. These guys normally use BMW recommended additives as is. I mean, it's, it's, they race BMWs. This, I just needed an extra quart, even though I really didn't. And I got this anyways. I'm just going to use it for its additives. Same with this. It's not oil, just an additive. Just for better protection. Card supposed to be 5W30, but 5W40 is a little bit better for tuned cars, and especially if you're running E. I can't remember exactly why. But the, the viscosity in 5W40 is a lot better for high heat, high performance applications. I wouldn't even say high performance because this car only makes 320 horsepower, but I beat the hell out of it. So peace of mind, right? The oil's literally been draining for like two minutes and it's practically done. Just because I did it while it was to temp and it's super watery and it's, it's pretty dark. I was supposed to change it like six, seven hundred miles ago, but I just, I didn't have the time and the oil I ordered didn't come in yet. It's a pretty easy, pretty, the easiest oil change I've ever done on any car in my life is this car. While I'm letting it drain, I'm going to get to this oil filter. It's pretty hot, but I'm still going to open it up. It's going to help flow a little bit more down there. Same with this guy. Probably should have opened him up a little bit earlier. But, yeah, I'll be right back. This guy, I got on Amazon. I'll try to find the link, and I'll put it in the description. This thing is a lifesaver. It makes taking this guy off so easy. Because it's, it's specific. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same amount of, like... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Let me take it off. This thing fits so snug. That's why I love it. This little hexagon shape. There's a specific amount. It's like 16, 17, 18, and 19. I think these cars are like 17. I forget. I had to count it. But I'll obviously figure that out. And I'll put that in the description with the link. So that you guys don't have to do as much research for this. I had to cut it because it started leaking out the side. Once I got it open, I had to wipe it off around here. But oil filter's out. It looks pretty rough, not not gonna lie with you guys. I don't think there's any metal shavings in it, but god 
damn is she dirty and this thing's hot super hot i'm gonna set this off to the side and let it cool down inspect for any metal or i could you know drop it and make a mess wasn't too bad clean that up but i'll be back i'm making all kinds of a mess right now i'm gonna slide the new filter in because it's pretty easy to do so um yeah my only issue whenever i do these oil changes is how much stays puddled up in here after the fact oh that is hot i'm gonna let that guy sit there do its thing absorb a little bit of that oil um i was gonna slap this guy in but there's just too much of a puddle in there and i don't want all that dirty oil going through and this filter doesn't look bad at all i mean it's dirty but no shiny metal whatsoever so i think we're in the clear here yeah there's no metal in there at all which is always a good sign i'm gonna get to swapping out these gaskets not gonna film it just because i don't really i mean i have a tripod but i'm not gonna be able to get a good angle and it's just too much of a hassle so i'm just gonna do it my phone is overheating so i can't use flash that was all cleaned out i used the oil to wipe up that a little bit make it look a little cleaner same with this guy oil filters in caps cleaned new gaskets are on that guy i'm gonna tighten that down put it all together and then my oil should be fully drained by then i mean i'm pretty sure it's done now it's just dripping might as well let it all fall out you know what i mean and then i'll fill it back up let her warm up then i'll go take a shower after i take a shower I'll go wash the car, go out to Mexico, get some edits, some clips, just cause I can like take out both lanes out there and get, get some decent photos. I mean, the sun is still setting. It's like five in the afternoon right now, I think. I don't remember. I woke up pretty late today. I went to bed at five in the morning, but I work late. So, I mean, what do you expect? But yeah, I'm trying, I want to get a little edit going. I'll probably put it at the end of this video and I'll probably post it by itself as well. Because why not? Content is content, right? But uh, I will see you guys in the next clip. So the good news is oil's in. She already had her like warm up. I let her sit for like almost 20 minutes just idling. I'm about to leave right now. I'm gonna wash my car now. I mean, my car's super tinted, but it's dark outside. It's uh, it's already nighttime, so I'm gonna have to find, I think I'm gonna go to Scottsdale with Marcus, my buddy with the 340XI, and we're gonna take some pictures in some of the like fancier areas out there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go wash my car. So, the bad news is that I put five quarts in every time, but uh, this time I only drained 4.2, which means I need a catch can. But I'm not really modifying this car anymore. I don't want to give it away because I want to make content out of it, but uh, I do plan on getting a new car by December 14th of this year. So... Let's just say it'll be a very big upgrade from a F3328. Um, the only hint I'll give you is it's a BMW and it's a two-door, a coupe.